something I first saw in a children's discovery room at the Museum of Science in Boston. It was bigger. They were using racquetball balls instead of ball bearings. But this illustrates the same concept. Everybody has seen an inclined plane, but I've got two ramps here. One is the straight ramp, and the other one is the ones with the dips and the hills. And so the question is, if you put the ball at the top of both ramps, which gets to the bottom first? One can make a good argument in favor of this one, which is shorter. Some people say it's going to be the same because the height at the top and at the bottom are the same. But we'll let you make your own decision. And so we'll put the two balls at the top. I'll hold them with the pencil so my fingers don't somehow affect the way things are released. And if I release the pencil, the one on the curvy slope goes much faster because I believe that the greater acceleration at the steep point overcomes and exceeds the extra distance and having to go up this hill and that hill that you might think would slow it down. 